Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the solution of this problem of a fruit cellar which should be the stock level and in the first part we have arrived at the conclusion that it is advisable for the fruit seller to keep a stock of 12 boxes for a long term on daily basis that means every day he should keep stock of 12 boxes and his demand will be either 10 or 11, 12 or 13 boxes after writing off of the loss on unsold boxes he can make average profit per day of Rs. 3350 which is highest in the four alternatives available now if the fruit seller wants to have perfect information every time while purchasing the boxes from the wholesaler or say his supplier that is not possible free of cost he has to bear some cost what should be the amount that he should ready to bear as the cost of getting perfect information but first of all let's calculate the expected profit every profit per day if he has perfect information every time then his sales will be either 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 boxes and he will be knowing it well in advance so he will keep the stock of that much number of boxes only and there will be no loss on account of unsold boxes so the profit will be on 10 3000 on 11 3300 on 12 3600 and on 13 3900 the probability will be 0 0.15, 0 0.20, 0.40 and 0.25 so the expected amount will be 450, 660, 1440 and 975 total comes to 5, 2, 3525 expected profit under perfect information if he knows well in advance about the demand at the time of making order to the wholesaler or the supplier this will be the amount 3525 rupees average daily profit in a long term you can say that in 300 day cycle now if he has no perfect information and he decides to keep stock of 12 boxes every day then his profit comes to 3350 we believe that he would prefer to keep a stock of 12 boxes neither 10 nor 11 nor 30 because that will give him the highest profit so highest expected profit under no perfect information on 12 boxes will be 3350 yes this is rational behavior so 175 yes this is the extra profit he he can earn every day on having expected rather perfect information about demand so now we can say that this is technically this is called expected value of perfect information the interpretation of this amount is if he can gather the perfect information about the level of demand every time at the time of making order to his supplier rupees 175 or less it will be beneficial say it will be say in benefit to him or we can say that if he can gather the perfect information at a cost which is less than rupees 175 it will add to his extra profit so the profit will be between these two amounts if he tries to gather the perfect information at a cost of rupees 175 per day or less yes so this is called expected value of perfect information this is called expected profit under perfect information and this is the highest possible expected profit without the perfect information so this is end of part 2 of the solution in part 1 we calculated the profit or other
highest possible expected profit without any perfect information. In this part 2, we found the expected profit under perfect information as well as the expected value of perfect information. That is the highest possible cost which the decision maker should be prepared to incur to get the perfect information. Now in part 3, I am going to suggest a different thing to solve this kind of problem. But what is it that I am going to disclose in third part? That's it. Thank you very much.